Hello Aries, welcome back to the Illus Illuminator for your relationship spread. Let's see what is going on between you and your romantic partner. So, I am going to use the Botticelli deck and the Sexual Magic Tarot. So let's see what we got going on. I will use this one for you and the Botticelli deck for the person that you're dealing with. Always feel free to swap the energies and definitely if you are a cross watcher, it might be that you will relate to the, to the first um, part of the reading, alright? So let's see what is going on for my dear Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising and Venus. What are the messages that you have in terms of relationship for my Aries? I got a good feeling for you guys, Aries. Like things are actually moving up in your in your life is what I feel. Like you've been through the worst kind of feeling is what I'm getting. So let's see what is going on. What is the message for Aries for October? What are the messages for the past? Okay. Alright, some of you may have been dealing with a Leo. That, that You may have seen the light when it comes to a Leo individual. Or starting to get out of this uh, bubble of illusion when it comes to a specific person, alright? Some of you may have been quite in a, in a state where you had a lot of options and choices and you keep you kept on going back to a person that you had a strong weakness for <laughs> strong weakness all right um i do get the feeling that you have been struggling to you know to to concentrate on one thing or one emotion but your emotion may have been all over the place and I think that you have been trying to, you know, get a grip of your own emotional state, all right? And that has been like what has been going on in your past. So you may have came to the conclusion that when you feel um, disoriented, for example, or you got like multiple emotions going up and down, running around uh, within yourself, you may have reached out to things or people that were not necessarily good for your health, all right? And this is, this. I feel like this is a repetitive cycle that has been going on and now you are starting to find cures or remedies or uh, realizing the pattern that you have been going through all right and this could be in, in in regards to relationships that you lose your you lose your shit you know what i mean or you um get like some kind of an attack or could be like an explosive attack that you were experiencing due to not knowing where you stand within a situation or a person so now you're coming to that realization all right so that's uh that's deep that's deep. Let's see what is going on for the other person. Some of you, is, it's like you cannot let go of an individual and you start. You want to see some tangible results now. <clears throat> Sorry. What is the past energy for the person that Aries is dealing with? Ooh, that's a lot of cards. My goodness. All right. Yeah. So you're dealing with someone, I got the Two of Swords reversed, the Eight of Pentacles reversed and the, what was it? The Death card reversed. So you have someone that is quite a pain in the <clears throat> dot 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 because this is an individual that does not let you go, does not provide from any ending or any growth in the situation and that's kind of like something that is very that can be very elusive in the first place because it's like okay are we going to work on this or not and this person is just lingering on to uh, to past issues all right this person may just bring up past issues or they're not capable of putting an end to a past issue so that you both can move forward i get the sense that they, they're not putting the right energy into the relationship to either give you a closure or an ending of the situation so both of you can move forward which is quite confusing all right this person may have been for a long period of time in a you know blocking you or not being truthful when it comes to communication and i feel like you some of you may have been coming to the realization that this person just does not want to put in the effort either way like they don't put the effort to end it and they don't put the effort to uh, change it and that's that's 
that's the mental confusion that some of you have been experiencing for a long time like they need to make a decision like are we going to work on it or not like that's what i feel has been the major issue in this relationship because in order to make things work i feel like the past issues do need to be discussed so that they, there could be like an ending to a past situation all right I got your card in the reversed, but I like this though. I got the full reverse, the three of pentacles upright, the seven of wands reverse, and the sun. So this looks to me as if you are, you know, you do have still a goal. You do, you do still want to work on this relationship, but you may be less hesitant to fight for it all right you with the sun i like the sun in this um in this occasion because it just tells me that you are you are you are releasing it to like you're not pushing it too hard you get what i mean it's kind of like you want to work on it you you're 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 doing your part in this in the situation whatever the part is but you're not taking too too big of a risk you're letting the sun just take care of it by its own you get what i mean like it's 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 like you let the healing take place you let everything that has been hidden you come to the service just by being loose and free without you taking too many risks to Put something into fruition here but you are like in the in the in the meanwhile you're working real well you're working real hard and you are putting the pieces together when it comes to creating a stable relationship and the rest is like all up to the other person because you feel like you've already done everything you could all right and this this mentality of you being a bit more like carefree as in like you know whatever happens happens kind of energy is going to bring you that fulfillment is going to bring in the most positive energy that you're going to feel enlightened like things are going to go in your favor once you release that um, control you know what i mean release that control it's like okay well i've done my part and i have this vision and i'm gonna go with that vision and whatever comes out of it that's that's that is it and whatever is going to come out of it is absolutely very very good so don't don't feel a lack of confidence in whatever you're doing because um, because I feel that you are going in the right direction and you're gonna get a lot of prosperity and a lot of growth, a lot of happiness and um, fulfillment out of this connection that you're having with this individual. All right. I have strong Leo energy here. Strong Leo. Strong Aries. So let's see what is what are they up to? What are the messages for the person that Aries is dealing with? All right, they're finally about to make a decision. Thank God! Wow, love it. I love it. Okay, wanted to come in the upright. Six of Wands, Four of Swords, and the Two of Wands. This is very very positive. All right, this means that if if you have like. Um, no communication at this point or the communication is a bit as stagnant it means that this person is really working on overcoming their own struggles and healing all right this person is taking their time and the rest to get their mind together and to make the final decision and i feel like the decision is definitely moving towards you all right even though you may not feel that way but i feel with the sun card here that that must be something that you already feel internally like something something good is coming and you you must feel it already if you if you can't see it around you there is this very positive energy that is around you and that is attracting you so the best thing to do is to just let it be all right just let it be don't 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 fight too hard because that will burn you so this person is really trying to overcome some nightmares some healing uh, something from the past that they can't, could not let go of or could not get over this is the, the the period where their mind is getting getting that enlightenment getting their um you know their strength to overcome this situation and to make the final decision that is for the best outcome for both of you all right this person may have been struggled a lot 
a lot when it comes to learning this lesson. And I feel, I've, I've saw it in, as well in the Pisces reading and in some other readings as well, that many of the people that you are dealing with do not want to bring past issues up. Like they, they, they are in this, in this sense of let's just not talk about these issues because it might be too deep for them because it's the, it's the, it's the eighth house, it's Scorpio. So it can be very, if you don't have a lot of Scorpionic energy in your chart, it could be very confrontational. And some people do not want that confrontation. And you are not someone that will back out of a confrontation. You are the one that initiates confrontations. So that's why you need to understand the differences between you and whomever you're dealing with. Because I feel like you got a lot of Scorpionic energy as well. So let's see what's the blockage. Yeah, the blockage is that things just do not want... Like, you feel that this person does not fight for you, all right? And, and, and as an Aries, as a fire person, we like to fight for people, all right? We like to be there for people. We like to, you know, even if it's going to turn out into an argument, we like to, we like to engage in that argument because we always find a way to learn from that, all right? So for fire signs, it's very important to have that challenge, to, to, to break those barriers, to, to have those challenges. And if you feel that someone is just not fighting for it and they're not putting the energy and they're not working on it, that could get you very irritated, all right? And you may feel like, okay, well, you know, this is me, I fight for it, but like I got nothing to give anymore because every time I try to, no, well, it's fight in the way of like, you're trying to discuss something and sometimes it can go wrong, sometimes it can go in the right direction, but you feel like this person is not putting the energy and effort into it and they, they, they have a lot of jealousy tendencies and they don't, they don't really put the effort to get your attention. They don't do the subtle things that you admired once from this individual. So that's when you feel the lack of confidence kicking in as in like, well, this person does not text, text, often, text as often as they did, the subtle uh, messages or, um, you know, the looks, something is missing. That's what you feel. So let's see, what's their blockage? What's their issue and what's their problem is what I'm going to call these nowadays. Oh gosh, what is this? Hmm. So it seems clear to me, they have the Knife of Swords reversed with the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So this is again that kind of energy where someone continuously comes back around, all right, but they don't fix it in the right way. And, or they, they come back around, but the, but the communication is just not straightforward. And it's it makes both of you or one of you leave again and go into separate uh, you know, not being fulfilled with the with the way that the communication is going. Knife, knife of Swords could be your energy that they are trying to avoid sometimes. Like if you have been too blunt or you are too straightforward um, or maybe too sarcastic in a sense. They try to avoid that kind of energy and then come back around to see if you have calmed down. But the, the issue is that the issue itself needs to be worked on and this person thinks like well if i just disappear and then you know just come back around in like a week or what and say hi how are you then things will be changed but that's not the case like you cannot like it just does not work like that but this that's what this person is going through they are trying to realize that they need to put things to an end within themselves or make a change in the way that they approach a situation Let's see, what am I doing? What is the hopes for Aries? Hopes for Aries, please. Hmm, Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Ace of Swords. So 
So you just want to know why this person is not giving you the attention or is not reciprocating all the things that you have done because it seems to me that I feel with that sun card there you always try to be optimistic and positive and move forward with what you have but you cannot build the relationship serenely on your own that that that's that that's kind of like impossible all right so you you just want to have this yeah again the six of cups in the reverse again you just want to have this clear cut through communication about what is bothering them from whatever has happened in the past like it does not make sense to keep on going back and forth back and forth if the past has not been resolved so these past issues are going to come to the surface definitely we are entering libra or we are in the libra season i'm sorry which is all about karma karmic skills relationship communication but it also has a lot to do with the past so a lot of things that may have happened in the past may have been not been truthfully spoken about which is now going to change all right like you are demanding this truth and you 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 put them in a corner and if they don't want to tell you something about whatever has happened in the past or why they're being so melancholy when it comes to discussing some things or moving forward it is all going to come to the service because you are going to demand that Aries you you and not in a in an aggressive way, not at all. It's it's kind of like the energy is in like if this is not going to be discussed, and I don't know if this is going to work in our favor. All right. Let's see. What what are their hopes? They have the emperor in the reverse, which is your card. Yeah, this is this is that control that you are now about to release. All right, and th this is exactly what I was just talking about, which you are already in the progress of. So don't be too harsh on yourself. Just be reminding, just remind yourself of of this situation and how to release control. Because that's what they want. They want you to be less assertive, less uh, con less confrontational and I know that's that's hard because in this situation of course you need to be a bit assertive because you want to know where you're standing with this individual and how to resolve an issue you are the problem solver Aries and if this person does not like the fact that you are a problem solver and likes to you know tiptoe around the issue that's going to be an issue as well but with the sun card yeah. Let me just get back to that. Let's see what else they want. For some of them, they have been dealing with an ex, all right? Or someone that has been quite uh, detrimental for them this person has been lying, cheating, or being very negative towards them or about them, which they still are, you know, there there are still a lot of failures or regrets that I that they have when it comes to this individual. This, this individual seems to be someone that has been tortured them quite a lot emotionally, all right? They may have been, um, you know, whomever this individual is, it could be a fire, um, not a fire, sorry. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, and this person has really diminished their self-worth and value, all right? And I don't know if that's you, then take it as it is, but um, this has really made this person feel very lonely and very, you know, not good enough, all right? Their self-worth has been quite diminished, and it, it, like if you have been doing that, then it's really your your uh, your thing to become more positive and to speak more positively when you're around this individual towards this individual despite of whatever has happened that has hurt you you need to you know uh, overcome this situation all right of of like beating them down with with all this negativity all right but if that's not you then that's someone that they have been dealing with that made them really feel like I'm not good enough for anything, all right? And that's the, that's why they cannot take charge on things that they do want to take charge on because they're afraid that someone will say those exact same words again to them and they don't want that um, 
they don't want to go through that same feeling so this is someone that is definitely scared all right after what whatever they've been hurt whatever they've hurt words can sometimes you know hurt a person and you know sometimes we say like words cannot hurt me but in this case this person has been quite hurt by some words that has been said to them <clears throat> So if that's you, you really need to, you know, but don't worry, because this, this is the period where you're going to embody this energy anyway, all right? So it's a good thing to know, like, whoa, okay, what, what am I actually doing to another person? Despite the fact that this person may have hurt you, <clears throat> it's still... Yeah, you get the drill, right? You get the drill. <clears throat> I'm going to pull some cards for the extended reading. We are going to discuss the fears, the outside influences to the relationship and how you feel about them and how they feel about you and the future energies, all right? So, let's see. <clears throat> you, you, you do know that this person is quite closed off, all right? Like, either everything is hidden or they always have this barrier around them and you really you're not sure if you can get through that barrier of them because they're always introspective I feel like this is a person that's very introspective and which is which makes sense because you as an Aries you're very extroverted right like so that's why you may have been attract sorry attracting people that are very introverted to balance those energies out you feel maybe that this person has someone else on the side and that they will uh, leave you for someone else all right <clears throat> but that might be just a fear that you need to work on because that's your that's why you don't dare to take any leaps of faith with this individual <clears throat> maybe a fear of codependency or you know the, the 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 need of like always wanting to be independent and like i don't need you i don't i don't care about you that kind of mentality could also be biting you back in a, in a sense Ooh. So yeah, it's it's obvious that this individual does. Ooh, you both end up with the wheel of fortune. For you, it's an upright. For them, it's in the reverse. So something karmically is not going in in their favor, and that could be their own behavior. That is, like I said, biting them back in the ass. I don't know why I keep on saying this line to you guys, but it, that that's that's what I'm getting through very very strongly. Something is biting them back. All right, and this person is really afraid of showing how much they love you. I don't think that they have uh, uh, expressed that in the past. Maybe they did in the beginning, but you feel like they're not doing that anymore. But this person is really afraid of showing their deep, deep emotions to you, which they have a lot. All right, this person has a lot of genuine love and uh, and truth, truthful feelings for you. Could definitely be a water sign. Like I said, introspect, intro, and ex. Uh, extra uh, okay like whatever is way too is way too early so yeah I, I do get the feeling that this person is not feeling very happy in expressing their emotions because they feel that they can get rejected <clears throat> I want to I haven't done that for, for the other sides but I do want to pull a oracle card for you guys <clears throat> before I move on to the extended what is the message for Aries please what is the message for Aries golden opportunity I like it important doors are opening for you right now walk through them so there are a lot of opportunities coming to you this is the sun so th there's a lot of growth prosperity abundance happiness joy opportunities from all over so do not only focus on the situation as it will resolve on its own all right like just let the sun shine and do its work all right so take that opportunity and don't waste any opportunities based on you know the feelings that you have for this individual your wheel is about to turn in your favor <clears throat> So I am going to continue there guys, uh, the link is down in the description box below the video. You can click on the title and you will also see the, um, the cards that I'm using in my uh, reading. So I see you on the other side or I see you very very soon. Thank you so much and bye.